I was not I was not expecting this. He's he's horrible. Yeah. yeah. What's going on guys, back with another video, obviously. But today is the video you guys have been waiting for, for months, literally. Let's just kind of rewind a little bit. Over a year ago, I got myself a lizard, a blue tongue skink, his name is Jeffrey. It was so long ago and my mom said, you can't keep this unless that video got 50,000 likes. That's a lot of likes for me. And guess what? It's past 50,000 likes. And I know you guys have been commenting, it's at 50,000 likes. So go tell your mom to ask, can you keep the lizard? So I'm really excited. Jeffrey's gotten huge now. I mean, he's not as big as a kid can possibly get, but he's definitely grown. And I'm really excited to see what my mom says. She better say yes. I mean, it was her promise. So let's go talk to her. Hey mom. What are we shooting? Uh, I have to ask you something. Okay. You remember when I got that lizard blue tongue skin? Remember that video? Yeah, yeah, I remember it. This is not okay. I asked you in that video how many likes it would take for me to keep him, and you said- If it gets 50,000 likes. I remember. Don't tell me, has it gotten to 50,000? Yeah. I'm sorry, but you made the promise. I really want to keep him, despite that he's a little grumpy. <sighs> I really don't want to keep him. Do we have to keep him? Like, I, I know I said 50,000 likes, and I don't want to be that- person who goes back on what they said, but he's, he's horrible. If you're asking me truly whether or not keeping him is gonna really have to be a problem for me, it really is. You go out of town a lot, you travel a lot. Well, I'm the one who's home who has to take care of him. And so I have to clean his cage, I have to feed him, and I've just been kind of hoping that it wouldn't ever reach 50,000 because he's like the devil incarnate. He's mean, he hisses at me constantly, he, for whatever reason, loves being able to kick all of his dirt into his water, and I know he has to have healthy water, so every time you leave, I have to clean that way. You do it, I mean, how he does it a lot. And this animal stinks, he smells so bad. I don't smell it. You can't tell me that you, his poop is like the worst thing on the planet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that the, his poo stinks. Yeah, but you don't just like take his poop outside after you clean it. He poops every day. You put it in a paper towel and you put it in a waste paper basket in your bathroom. And all I have to do is walk by the bathroom and uh, I mean, it's just horrible. It makes the whole upstairs smell. Yuck. He doesn't seem to like us or me. Oh, me. I don't know. How does he visit you? He's not a nice reptile. I mean, I, I, I think what we've learned is that this household is just not meant for certain types of reptiles. I'm I'm sorry, but please, is it, would you at least consider not keeping him? I mean, can we find him a good home? I, I, I really don't want him in this house. Even though it got 50,000 likes? It really wouldn't matter how many thousands of likes he got. Like I said, I don't want to be that person. And if, if you, I mean, I, I, I said that you could do it and I, if I have to, I will accept that, but I won't be really happy about it. Are you we just, serious? I was not expecting this. Yeah, I'm being 100% serious. All right. I don't like having him in the house. Okay. You should have asked me in the first place. Well, well I did. in the house. But you did not ask me. You just went and got him. All right, well, I guess we've learned snakes are <laughs> better than lizards, or at least in this house. Exactly. Okay, I'll find a way to get rid of him. Make sure he that. still finds a good home, though. Definitely. Thank you. Sorry. That didn't go so well. Yeah, he is a bit difficult. I mean, even though you said 50,000 likes. I was not I was not expecting this. All right, I'll find another home for him. All right, so we're at the pet store and here he is. In case you guys wanted to say hi. One last time. Can I get one last kiss? One last kiss, please. Thank you. Let's take you to a new home, buddy. Bro. What am I gonna do now? At least I still have you, Phoebes. Your enclosure's looking good. I'm so sorry I couldn't keep the lizard. I know I said I would and she'd let me if I got 50,000 likes. I'm so sorry, but I don't I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, he, he, she was right. I mean, he had his problems. He, he was grumpy. He was kind of a picky eater. His poop smelled bad, but he was so cute. Was so cute. Just don't... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I know what to do. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who are wondering what I mean, well, I, uh, I have an idea. She said that you can have other reptiles in the house, like snakes are better than lizards, so I'm gonna get a California king snake. It's a species I've been wanting to keep as a pet for a long time now because I live in Utah, it's dry here, and they naturally live in southern Utah. So I'm super excited about this. Hopefully she doesn't get too 
mad about that. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. Cause I just don't wanna be, I, I don't, I mean, I love Phoebe. Don't get me wrong. I love Phoebe, but I want another reptile. Guys, check out how pretty this is. So I have a hide right here. This is the warm hide. And then that one is like the kind of in between. It's meant to be more the humid hide cause it's right next to this water bowl. And then there's an even colder hide that is like a burrow right there. And then yeah, he's two water bowls, a little cactus, some plants and some bark and some branches for him to climb on him or her. I'm not still not sure yet, but like, dude, I think I think this is gonna be really good for the snake. I'm really excited. The snake is gonna love this. It's a 70 gallon enclosure for a baby king snake. Like that is really big for a snake of that size. And this is gonna be great even when it's an adult. So I don't have to change enclosures throughout its life. It's gonna be perfect throughout its entire life. And they live kind of a long time. So I'm really excited. Same thing with Phoebe. She's gonna live a long time too. So hopefully I'll have them for as long as they live. But like, I just, I know you guys are thinking, don't do, this is the third time now you're getting an animal without letting your mom no. And yeah, she's not going to be happy about that. But like, she's the one who said, I can't have a lizard. So I kind of don't care. I mean, I do. But a part of me is like, I deserve this. I've worked so hard to keep Jeffrey happy. And I did my best. And I did the right thing, sending him to a better home. And now I feel like I should be getting something in return. I've wanted a king snake for a while. So I think it'll be good. And the king snake will not be nearly as difficult to take care of as Jeffrey. Not even as difficult as Phoebe, hopefully. I think this is going to be really good, though. Okay, guys, I have been talking with the breeder. And... I'm gonna be getting a king snake. Mom said snakes are better than lizards and she never said I couldn't get a snake. So yes, I didn't ask her permission for this, but I think this time she'll understand. So uh, I'm just waiting to get a snake now. All right, I just got it. This is gonna be quite the shock to my mom, but I am so excited about this. He is gorgeous and uh, he is really eager to get out and do some slithering. So let's get him home and put him in the enclosure I have set up for him. And I I'm pretty sure he's gonna love it. I gotta be really quiet. Make sure the dog, oh, I have to unlock the door. Oh, there's a the dog. Grab his collar. Got him. All right. Yes, close the door. We're gonna take him up into my room, and then from there, we're actually going to uh, inspect him for any external parasites to make sure that he's okay. And then from there, we're just gonna make sure mom doesn't notice. Okay, guys, so this right here is very eager to get out. This is a wild, whoop, this is a wild California king snake. He is not happy with me handling him. He's definitely a bit feisty. He's actually wiggling his tail. And lots of people say they do that to mimic a rattlesnake, but I actually think they do it for another reason, and that is to distract any potential predator from their head. But enough about their defense. Let's check this guy for mites. He looks to be okay. All right, you're not gonna like this, but I wanna check him from there. I'm just gonna let him slither through here so that I can just take it on my hand. Okay, he looks to be mite free. <laughs> There were some spiders in there though, so we're gonna make sure we throw that away and we put this guy in his new home. How cool. This is so awesome. He's actually calmed down a little bit. He's, he's settling down and we're gonna have to cover up this hole that I used. He's so tiny. All right, let's see where he goes first. He looks really good. Hey, Ethan. Yeah? I was just wondering what... What is that? Yeah, it's a king snake. Cool, right? It's so pretty. No! 